Hey everyone, in this video we are going to be creating an amazing PDF summarizing application using the LangChain and OpenAI and in this application you will simply have to upload your PDF file and this application is going to generate its summary for you. So let's start the action. I have created a file called requirements.txt in which I have defined the libraries that we will be needing in this project which are the streamlit library which will be used in order to create the front end and the length chain library we will use its different LLM models to summarize our PDF file so in order to install all the libraries at once you have to go to the terminal and you have to run the command pip install hyphen r requirements.txt hit enter and it is going to install all the required libraries which are present inside your requirements.txt file so once this is done the next thing is to import the libraries from these packages. So in my test.py file, I'm going to write the code for the user interface of my application, which will be done using the Streamlit library. So firstly, I am going to import the Streamlit library as ST, and this library is going to be used to create the user interface of our application. Next, we also need to set the value of our OpenAI API key env environment variable, which can be accessed using the OS. So for that, we are going to import the OS as well. Now we are going to start creating the user interface of our application. So all the components of our user interface will be placed inside the main function. So firstly, I'm going to define the main function inside which we are going to add the components which will be present on our user interface. So firstly, I am going to use the streamlet.setPageConfig method to set the page title to be PDF Summarizer. After that, I'm going to move towards my page layout. And firstly, I'm going to set the title to PDF Summarizing App with a document icon. Then I'm going to use the streamlit.write method to write a line that says summarize your PDF files in just a few seconds, which is actually a description of our application. And then in order to make the layout more presentable, I'm going to add a divider. Then in our summarization app, we need to have something to upload the PDF file, which is called a file uploader. So now I'm going to add a file uploader using the streamlit.file uploader function. The text beside the file uploader is going to be upload your PDF document and it is going to accept only the PDF files. After that, I also need to have a button which when clicked will summarize our PDF file. So I'm going to use the streamlit.button method and the text inside the button is going to be generate summary. So these are all the components which will be present on our user interface. Then in order to run the application, we need to call the main function. So I'm going to go ahead and call the main function here. Now we are all set to view the user interface of our application. So I'm going to head to my terminal and I'm going to run the command streamlit run and then provide the name of your file which is test.py in my case hit enter and it is going to open a new browser window for you and inside a new tab your application will appear so this is the user interface of my application this is the page title which we set using the set page config method this is the title of our application this is a brief description of what the application does here is the divider and then here we have the file uploader which can only upload the PDF files. And below it, we have a generate summary button. Upon clicking, it will generate the summary for us. But now we have not configured the backend of our application. So upon clicking the button, nothing is going to happen. All right, so the front end of our application is completed. Now we have to create the code for our backend and then merge it with the front end in order to complete our application. So in order to create the backend, I'm gonna create a new file. I'm gonna call it utils.py. And inside this file, I'm going to write the code, which will actually summarize the PDF files using the lang chain. So in this file, firstly, I'm going to import all the required libraries, which will be used in order to summarize a PDF file. And these files are the text splitter from the lang chain, the embeddings from the lang chain, using which we will use the hugging face embeddings. Then we are using the files from the lang chain. We are also using the chain for question answering. From the lang chain, we are also importing OpenAI, chat OpenAI, and we are also importing the Pi PDF in order to use the PDF reader. After that, I am going to create a new function. I am going to call it process text, and it is going to take text which is of string type as input. The purpose of this function is to process the given text by splitting it into chunks and converting these chunks into embeddings to form a knowledge base. And this knowledge base will then be used to perform the similarity search using the query which we are going to generate. So in this function, firstly, we are going to initialize a text splitter to divide the text inside a PDF file into different manageable chunks of same size. So here I'm using the corrected text splitter inside which the separator is going to be a new line. The chunk size is of 1000 
and the overlap between the chunks is 200 then the length function is equal to length which is the function of the string for calculating the length after that we are going to use the split text function of the text splitter inside which we are going to pass the text so this text is actually the text which is present inside the pdf file so once we pass it into the split text function it is going to split our text into different chunks of manageable size where the chunk size is going to be 1000 characters after our data or after our text is split into different chunks the next step is to create the embeddings from those chunks so in order to create the embeddings we are going to load the model from the hugging face so from here i'm going to use the hugging face embeddings the model name is going to be the sentence transformer and this is the further type of the model so using this line we are going to load a model for generating the embeddings from the hugging face after that we are going to create the files index from the text chunk using the embeddings and this file is actually the facebook ai similarity search library which is used for efficient similarity search and we are going to perform the similarity search in this video later on so using the chunks into which we split our text and the embeddings which are created from the hugging face embeddings we are going to create the files index and that index will be stored inside the knowledge base variable and then finally we are going to return the knowledge base so overall in this function we are going to take the text from the pdf file as the input then we are going to split this text into different chunks of equal size using the split text function after that we are going to load the model for generating embeddings from the hugging face which will be inside this variable called embeddings and then finally we are going to use the chunks and the embeddings to create the files index to perform similarity search later on so the files index will be stored inside this knowledge base and we are also returning it after that i'm going to create an other function the name of the function is going to be summarizer and it is going to take the pdf file as an input so the purpose of this function is to summarize the contents of the pdf file so firstly inside this function we are going to check if the pdf file is not none this means that if the pdf file is provided then we are going to use the pdf reader from the py pdf library and we are going to read the contents present inside our pdf file then all the pages which are present inside a pdf file will be stored inside this variable called pdf reader after that i am creating a new variable by the name text which is an empty string and then the next thing is to read the contents of all the pages which are present inside this pdf reader so we are gonna iterate through the pdf reader dot pages and each page of the pdf file will be stored inside this page variable and inside the loop we are gonna extract the text from each page and concatenate it inside the variable which is text so overall this for loop is going to iterate through all the pages of the pdf file which is present inside a pdf reader and then for each page it is going to extract the text and then concatenate the text to a new variable which is text so all the text which is present inside the different pages of the pdf file will be stored inside this variable the next thing is to convert this text into different chunks create its embedding and then use the embeddings and the chunks to create the knowledge base for the similarity search and all of this is done inside this function that we have previously created which is the process text function so here we are simply going to call the process text function and as a parameter we are going to pass this text which contains all the text extracted from all the pages of the pdf file and as i've discussed earlier that this process text function is going to return us the knowledge base and this knowledge base will be stored inside a new variable in this function so up till now we have extracted the data from our pdf file and we have extracted the text from all the pages of the pdf file after that we have passed the text to the process text function which has converted this text into different chunks of manageable sizes have created the embeddings from the hugging face and have also created the knowledge base for our similarity search now we are going to define a query for summarizing our pdf document so i'm going to create a query variable and inside which i'm going to say summarize the content of the uploaded pdf file in approximately three to five sentences this length of the summary can vary depending upon your requirement but in this scenario i want the summary to be precise so here i am defining it to be three to five sentences so once the query is generated now we are going to use the knowledge base to perform the similarity search on the query that we have just created here the similarity search is used to find the chunks of text from the knowledge base that are most relevant to the query and since the query is about summarizing the content the search will identify those chunks of text that are likely to contain key information or a representative overview of the entire document the files index which contains embeddings of the text chunks facilitates finding the chunks whose embeddings are closest 
in terms of vector space similarity to the embeddings of the query. So overall, this line is going to find the chunks of the text that are most relevant to our query, which is this one. And all those relevant chunks will be stored inside this variable called doc. After that, we need to specify the model for generating the summary. So I'm going to initialize the OpenAI model as the GPT 3.5 Turbo. And then using this, I'm going to initialize the chat OpenAI where the model is GPT 3.5 Turbo and the temperature is set to 0.1. Here the temperature is used to set the uniqueness or the creativeness of the response. Its value ranges from 0 to 1, 0 being least creative and 1 being most creative. So if you want the response to be more creative and unique each time, so you can set the temperature value closer to 1. So here I'm going to set the temperature to be 0 0.8. And in this way, our LLM, which is the chat open AI, will be initialized. Then the next thing is to initialize and load the question answering chain with the specified model. So I'm going to use the load question answering chain inside which you have to pass two things. First thing is the LLM model, which you are going to use, which in this case is the chat open AI and all of this information is, is stored inside this variable called LLM. So I'm going to pass this LLM here and then the chain type is going to be stuff. Now the only thing that is left is to run the chain and generate the response. There is no need to get all of this information. So I'm going to remove it from here. And we also don't want to have the cost of the operation. So I'm going to remove it also. So now I'm going to use the chain.run method inside which you have to pass two things. First is the input documents. And here the input document is actually going to be the chunks which are fetched upon performing the similarity search on our knowledge base. And those chunks are stored inside the variable called docs for the input Documents, I'm going to pass docs and then for the question, we are going to pass the query which is summarize the content of the uploaded PDF file in approximately three to five sentences. And once this chain is run, it is going to generate the response which will be stored inside this variable called response, which will actually contain the summary of our PDF file. And then finally, we are going to return the generated summary. So these two methods collectively create the backend of our application. Now the only thing that is left is to integrate our frontend with the backend. So for that, I'm going to move towards my test.py file and here I'm going to import my utils.py file. So I'm going to say from utils import star. So this star refers to everything which is present inside the utils.py file. Since we are also using the OpenAI, so we need to set the environment variable for the OpenAI as well. So here inside my main function, I'm going to use os.environ in which I'm going to set the value of OpenAI API key to this value. So on the user interface, once we upload the PDF file using this file uploader and click on this submit button, then we need to perform all the operations which is going to summarize the file for us. So here we need to have an if condition that if the button is clicked, then we need to use this PDF file and pass it into one of these functions. So this function which is the summarizer takes the PDF file. So upon the button click, we are going to call the summarize function, which is present inside our utils file. And we are going to pass the PDF file, which the user have entered in the file uploader. And since the summarizer function return us the response, which is actually the summary of our PDF file. So I am also storing the result inside a variable called response. And we also need to display this response on our user interface as well. So I'm going to use streamlit.subheader function that is going to say that summary of file is and then we are going to use streamlit.write and write the response on the user interface. And that's it. This is a complete application having the frontend and backend in two different files. And we have merged the frontend and the backend by calling the functions from utils.py file inside our test.py file. So now I'm going to go ahead and test the working of my application. So my application is already running. I'm going to go ahead and rerun the application in order to add the new changes. All right. So this is our application. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the browse file button to add the file inside my file uploader. So here I have a file called story.pdf. This file actually contains the complete story of the red riding hood. So I want to see if this application can summarize the story for us or not. So I'm going to add this file using my file uploader. Okay, so once the file is uploaded, now I'm going to go ahead and click on generate summary button. All right, so the response has been generated and you can see that we have the summary of our PDF file in three to five lines. And you can see that the summary is exactly the correct summary of the entire story of the little red riding hood. So in this way, you can upload any PDF file 
using this browse files button and this application is going to generate the summary for your pdf file that's all for this video i hope that you enjoyed this project as much as i did